John, this is a great area for spawning. They move in here a little bit early and they're in here for three or four months. Oh no. Do you see that? Yep. Well, that'll Johnny happen. hit it running towards you? No, no, I was working and letting it drop to, uh, toward the bottom. They'll hit this thing a lot uh, as it starts to fall. We were talking about uh, the spawn. Uh, a lot of people misconstrue the spawn, uh, Jerry. Uh, they think, well, it's uh, March and the water temperature is 65, 67 degrees, so the bass are on their beds. Then uh, they'll find them on their beds and they'll catch some fish, but they don't go back next month, okay? Uh, bass spawn over a three, four, or five month period. Wow. They don't spawn all at one time. And there's a very, very good, I think the Lord meant it this way, uh, if they all spawned like in, in March or uh, February, uh, and, and then we have a real bad cold front come in, right. it would destroy the, 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 the spawn, okay? So they've got it to where they'll, they'll actually spawn. In Florida, for example, they'll start like in November, a little spawning, again in December, uh, January more, February more, March more, April more. I have people call wanting to come down and go fish with me, with my guide service, and they want to, when's the best time to come? I said around the full and new moons, uh, starting in January, January, February, March, and April, because that's when our bass are in, uh, you know, trying to make nests and, and, and spawning. And it's just historically that way. Over anywhere from a four to a five month period, there's bass spawning. Wow, John, once those bass spawn um, or, or lay the egg, how long does it generally take for the egg to hatch? A week at the most, you know, they'll start uh, uh, coming out of the egg form, the roe form, you know, and start becoming little fingerlings. Then what happens, the male stays with these fish. You'll see them there like that long, then that long, then that long, that long. Right. And after they finally get about two inches long, something like that, and I'm just making, I say two inches, it could be a little less than that. Uh, there could be like 200 in a bunch and the male's with them, right? Right. Then he'll swim through the middle of them and try to eat half of them. You know why he does that? Putting them on the defensive. You can't trust anybody, including your own daddy. <laughs> There's one jump completely out of the water right here, Jerry. Throw right over here in that little bunch of sticks. He cleared the water a foot. But he made a mistake. He made a mistake, Jerry. Uh-oh. Look here. I missed mine, look. <laughs> That's a little little patch of them there, John. These are pretty good fish. Yeah. Right, mine just hit and got right off, look. Look here. Look, look at him go, look at him go, look at him go. I like the twos of time. That's right. Two different baits? Yeah. Same spot? Yeah. I tell you, that brush buster uh, that vibrates like that yep. makes a big difference. It'll Absolutely. attract one, I think, 20 foot away. This one's about the same size. They're probably yep. out of the same brood. There might have been a little school in here, John. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There you go. A little pound and a half.